The first show was the Folies Bergere in 1957, and then the Lido de Paris at the Stardust came in 1958. But we were, we were the icon, you know, we were what people thought of when they came to Vegas. We were kind of what the Cirque shows were today. We were in every hotel, in every lounge on the strips. I was in the shows from 1979 to 1991. We had to be a minimum of five foot eight to even audition for the show. You had to be in good shape. Not only were we balletically trained, a lot of us lifted weights at the health club because some of those hats could be, they could weigh up to 25 pounds. We had back pieces. You would come to the side of the stage and there would be a dresser right there and she would lift those back pieces onto you and strap them on and then you would walk up the stairs and as soon as you came back off the stage someone was there to take those pieces off because they were very heavy, they were very big, they were very cumbersome and then we, on top of that we were, we were wearing two and a half inch heels. You absolutely had to learn how to walk and you'd be walking down staircases that could be up to two stories high and you couldn't look down because of the head pieces and the back pieces so you learned by feel you know how those stairs felt and there was always a little edge on the top of the stairs so you, if you could feel it with the tip of your, your shoe. And then there was a, a certain showgirl walk. The whole look was that you really didn't move. It was all very smooth. When I danced at the Stardust, I was working for the Mafia because the Mafia they were running the, the casino. So you could get comped into any show on the strip. Everybody knew you. And now, again, it's gotten larger. Um, but I, I still love Vegas. I think, you know, Vegas keeps recreating its history. And again, brings you back to why I wanted to kind of preserve the history of the shows because we've got a really unique history that I think a lot of people forget. And so I brought in a whole group of people. We talked about the history of the production shows. We brought in costumes so the kids could feel the weight of the, the rhinestones that we used to have on those costumes and the feathers. I brought in a young showgirl in costumes so the kids could see the showgirl in costume. And they, they really loved it and they learn about you know, the showgirl, and then the artist comes up with their interpretation of the Las Vegas showgirl. I think people are fascinated now by the showgirl, and, and when you see it in the schools, the kids were real vintage. They, they really think we're kind of cool, you know, with the feathers and the rhinestones and jewels, because where, where do you see that anymore? There's a lot of people that are realizing that we are losing our history, and people want to preserve it and keep it alive, because it's very unique.